Mm. Oh. oh, it's my favorite beer. It's Blood and Honey from Revolver. Is there anything better than just a cold beer when it almost feels like summertime? The answer is no. I've talked about this before. This is very difficult to get. This was sent to me by a subscriber, so thank you very much. You can really only get this in Texas, I think. This is the Revolver Brewing Blood and Honey. It's brewed with blood orange peel, Texas honey, and spices. Enough said. Guys, I've got my caftan on. I've got my cold beer. I'm ready for summertime. I'm giving you a very minimal makeup vibe today. Like, I'm giving you pretty much barely anything. So today is all about my favorites from the month of April. And this is a very spatial favorites video because it is in partnership with Ana Luisa Jewelry. Ana Luisa Jewelry is a jewelry company that is based out of Brooklyn. They have an online presence and they are a totally sustainable jewelry company. They send me three pieces of jewelry of my choosing. And of course, once again, they knocked it out of the park. I love every single piece they sent me. So I'm gonna take you through the pieces. But I also want to let you know that Ana Luisa is having a Mother's Day sale right now through May 10th. You don't need any kind of a code, nothing like that. Just go through my link in my description box and you will automatically get 15% off of everything site-wide. I love Ana Luisa jewelry for so many reasons, but I love that they have a little bit of everything. Like if you're kind of a funky, eclectic jewelry person, they've got something for you. If you're into a dainty vibe, they've got something for you. All three pieces I'm going to show you just happen to be priced at $75 a piece but of course that is going to be less than $75 because of the sale. So the first piece I want to show you is probably my favorite and this is most definitely one of my favorite chains I now have in my collection. I love like look at how it's picking up the light and it lays just gorgeously. It's flat which I love because it looks so beautiful on the décolleté. This is a great layering piece. I actually wore this in another video with a bunch of other jewelry and I got a lot of compliments from you guys about the layering of those necklaces. So this is just a great staple piece to have to wear by itself to layer. This is 22 inches. They have another length of this, which I think I'm going to have to get because I definitely want to layer those two together. I love a safety pin earring. I now have two pairs. These are my newest pair and they are teeny tiny. So I'm going to do a little zoom in here. These are not just any safety pin earring. These have a little blang to them. I just love these so much again for layering purposes. When you have multiple piercings like I do, it's just the perfect piece because they're a little bit edgy, but they don't detract from the rest of the jewelry in your ear. It's just like chef's kiss perfection. Now I'm going to do the old switcheroo and I'm going to show you the hoops that they sent me. Are these not the perfect hoops? These are the fanny hoops. They're a little bit of a different take on a hoop and I love that they have this little cubic zirconia detail right here. I actually have like really tiny earlobes so I can't wear heavy earrings. These are absolutely perfect and again they're another great layering piece. I'm sorry to be so repetitive but all of these pieces really are. Ana Luisa Jewelry killing it again. Thank you so much for partnering with me on this video. Again everything's going to be linked down below that I talk about today. Today, please go check out their website and take advantage of that 15% off Mother's Day sale. Sort of covering all our bases here today. We started with jewelry. I'm going to show you a device. I'm going to show you skincare. I'm going to show you makeup. Guys, what have I been doing not owning a face steamer? This is the Vanity Planet Aeris Steamer. This damn face steamer. Okay, so this was actually sort of a wine induced late night Instagram purchase that I'm not sorry about. This is like a treat show self situation. Like I literally look forward to this. Okay, so how this works is super easy. It plugs in and the back of this slides out and you're going to fill this with distilled water, slip it back in and you're going to be ready to steam in like a minute and a half. My favorite thing to do is just choose a YouTube video. Like the other night I watched Better Off Red crew trime, made myself a gin and tonic, and steamed my face for 15 minutes. Can you think of a sexier 15 minutes? Steaming your face is going to soften your skin and it is also going to open up your pores so that everything you put on after you steam your face is going to be received by your skin that much better. Also, this is currently 50% off. So I got this for less than $50 bargains. This is literally what you're going to experience when you go to a professional facial. It is such 
a delight. Okay, so moving on to a mask that I love to use after I've steamed. I actually use this in my Instagram stories. By the way, if y'all aren't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It's Kate the Great Beauty. I post all kinds of fun things on my stories. I actually like showed how the steamer worked the other day and I also had this mask on. I had so many people ask me about it. So this is the Ula Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. I think I've talked about this before. I ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Clay Mask and I turned to this because I was like, oh, I haven't used this in a hot second. I love this. First of all, let's talk about the color. It is so fun. Not that that matters but I mean it kind of does. I love that this is a cooling mask and it doesn't get like insanely tight on my face. I feel like this is a really comfortable clay mask. Again I don't feel like my skin is being stripped of everything. So what I'll do is I'll steam, I'll put this on and then that is going to suck that shit out of my pores and then I'll move on to like, I don't know, my honey potion mask and all of my other 29 steps of skincare. This is also really great for people who have oily skin. It's gonna help control that. Okay, so moving on to a new product. I talked about this, I think a few weeks ago in a video and I was gonna get back to you guys about how I felt about it. This is the Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. Now, this is a little bit more expensive than what I normally spend on a hyaluronic acid serum. I love my good molecules. I know that Ordinary makes a great hyaluronic acid serum for very little money. All about that. But here's the thing, this isn't just a hyaluronic acid serum. There's another part to this that I think makes it pretty special. This isn't just a hyaluronic acid. This also has another element to it. It has vegan, wait, let me get it right. <laughs> it has amino acids and vegan collagen peptides to deliver visibly plump, healthy looking skin. That's why this is like next level to me. When I put on hyaluronic acid, it's lovely. It helps to seal in that moisture. This is not only doing that, but it really do feel like it is plumping my face. Can we consider a skincare product Plushes? This is plushes. Honestly, I think this is gonna be a constant repurchase for me. I don't know that I'm going to want to use like a normal hyaluronic acid when I can actually get a two-in-one situation like this. There is a tiny bit of a honey scent to it. I don't know that this is a part of their honey line, but it does smell a little bit like honey. I'm not mad about it, but I just want to let you guys know that there is a little bit of a scent to it. These drops are pretty much changing the game in terms of trying to upkeep a self-tan. So these are the Saint Tropez Self-Tan Purity Vitamins. There's like 17 other words on the bottle, but we're just going to call, we're going to call it that. This has vitamin C and D in it, so it has some good stuff for your skin, and I just work it into my skincare regimen in the morning. It develops over time. I use this every other day, maybe every two days. That's enough for me to see enough glow, enough tan on my face. But the reason I love this is it is so believable and so natural. It's clear. It goes on like a clear water-based gel. You can see right there. And I just can get right up there in my hairline and just make sure everything looks nice and seamless, which I <laughs> really appreciate because let me tell you, when you can uh, tell the difference between where the tan stops and the hairline ends, that's not cute. This is a Pensmith skincare made me buy it situation. So this is the Drunk Elephant Sweet Biome Fermented Sake Spray. I got this in one of my several Sephora hauls during the VIB sale. Now you're like, how is this different from other facial sprays? Do I want to pay the money for a drunk elephant facial spray? The thing that really got me about this product is that it really helps with your acid mantle. So you know when sometimes you might overdo it with exfoliation, chemical exfoliation, your skin gets irritated, especially my skin around here will get red and irritated. Using a product like this on a regular basis is going to make that less likely to happen. You can use this on totally bare skin. I sometimes use this as a last step in my skincare regimen, love that. You can also just use it as a facial refresh in the middle of the day. This to me is like a next level skin mist. Again, I, I feel like I'm getting something a little bit more, kind of like this. Like this isn't just a hyaluronic acid. This doesn't feel like just a skin mist. In fact, I'm gonna spritz my face right now. Mmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm. -hmm, mm, -hmm, mm, -hmm. mm. <sighs> Okay, so now we're moving on to some makeup items. I got a pretty good mix of affordable makeup and some high-end makeup. Okay, I'm not gonna belabor this because I've talked about it so many times. This is the Kosas Airbrow Gel. I now have it in two shades because I just can't stop myself. I have decided, I have 
decided, I can't believe I'm saying this, that this is better than my Glossier Boy Brow. Not that it's a competition, but if it were, this would win. The reason I love this so much, it really blew me away, is because I love the stiffness of the brush itself. And I love the formula because it's a little bit dry. It's not wet, it's not clumpy. So I feel like I can really go in pretty grr, like fearlessly with my brows and nothing is going to go awry. I love the fact that I feel like all I really need to use for the most part is this brow gel. I have a new mascara that I'm loving that I'm also wearing today. This is the number seven, the full 360 Ultra Nourished Panoramic Lash Mascara. I am loving this mascara. This is a volumizing mascara. I feel like it really works out. Like I feel like I don't need to go in with an extra mascara to really define. I do feel like it gives my lashes really, really nice volume. I don't feel like it's super clumpy. I just am really impressed with this as a drugstore mascara. The wand is an hourglass shaped wand. It kind of reminds me a little bit, a little bit of the Bite Beauty Upswing wand. I'd say they're similar mascaras, honestly but this is just as good as the Bite Beauty, I think. Okay, so moving on to what I'm wearing on my lips right now, this really is a next level drugstore product. These are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. They have hyaluronic acid in them. These were sent to me by a subscriber, so thank you so much, Amber, for sending these my way because I'm in love with them. I have the shade Petal and I have the shade Topaz. I am gonna just swatch them on my hand for you so you can see what they look like. Can't stop myself, I'm gonna paint my hand with this lip gloss. Why is this? swatch so large. Look at the pigment of that. It's so shiny. There's so much payoff. I'm so impressed. So that's Petal. And then this shade is Topaz, which I have on my lips right now. I have kind of a mix of glasses on my lips right now. But I mean, who's that not going to look good on? Especially with like a gorgeous natural bronzy look in the summer. Like it is just so plushous. I feel like I'm overusing the word plushous today, but I mean, so sue me if the shoe fits. I have to say, I feel like they could definitely compete with the formula of Fenty. They're just so comfortable and nourishing. I love the Milani Keep It Full lip glosses. Those are my favorite drugstore lip glosses to date, but these have now, I think they're tied they're tied. And the last thing I want to mention is some cream blurs. Did you think you were going to get away from my video without me talking about a cream blurs? You guys know what Salt New York is. If you don't, you've been sleeping on it and you need to get on it because it is a fantastic makeup brand by Kiki G. She sent all of her cream products my way and these palettes. So I'm so grateful to Kiki. Thank you so much. These two shades are their new spring shades. I have them on my cheeks right now. Guys, these are stunning. Stunning. This is tangerine and this is lilac. I use these for the first time in a live stream and my mind was blown to smithereens. <laughs> They look beautiful on their own, of course, but this tangerine shade first, whoo -wee! and then going on top with lilac, they actually mix perfectly and it's just, it's just chef's kiss perfection. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to put just like a little bit more on. See, a little bit goes a long way. They're really sheer and dewy, but you don't need much. I barely touched my finger to that right there. I feel like this shade is going to look just stunning on really any skin tone. Then going in with that lilac shade right there, just a little bit on top. Is that not stunning? What is even happening? I'm angry. Wow, just so incredibly gorgeous. I do wanna let you guys know that I have a code for Salt New York. I have a 30% off code if you use Kate the Great. 30 at checkout. And the code works as long as you purchase a bundle, okay? So they explain this on the website, but a bundle is basically a palette. It could be a small palette or a large palette and any four cream tints. So as long as you purchase a bundle, you're going to get 30% off of every single thing in your order, which is bananas. Like who offers a 30% discount? That's nuts. Like I said before, everything I'm talking about today is going to be linked down below in the description box for your pleasure. Okay guys, and that wraps up my April favorites. That went really, really fast. Oh, don't forget to check out the Ana Luisa Mother's Day sale. Get that sweet, sweet 15% off. I'm having a love affair with this steamer, okay? Clearly I have to cheers it. Vanity Planet Era Facial Steamer, good job. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are digging on my treats, enjoying my content, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and also give this a thumbs up. Oh my God, we look so good together. We make such a cute couple. Mm. 